Good day, everybody, and uh, thanks for the gathering yesterday. It was a wonderful gathering, and I would say that uh, many of us uh, had a great uh, discussion, and it was a pleasure uh, sharing uh, some experience from my side. Uh, okay, the, the first question uh, that many of the investors ask, uh, what is uh, technical analysis? And uh, if we ask about technical analysis, then uh, we would begin at uh, some basics on what we call candlestick charting. And uh, to know about candlestick charting, is that uh, we look at the anatomy of candle in the beginning. And uh, most of the time when you look at your chart, you can see green and red candles. Well, the green represents uh, optimistic sentiment and the red represents pessimistic sentiment. Well, if you look in your chart, in your chart, it always consists of a green and red candle, but uh, some of you might have a white and black candle. So white represents a bullish candle and a black represents a bearish candle. So uh, most of the time, uh, what I would like to use is that I'll use green candles for bullish sentiment and um, red candles for bearish sentiment. Right, so let's uh, go into a little bit deeper in this topic. Well, in the middle, uh, right here, the square in the middle that's filled with color, this is where we call the candle body. And the ones with just lines below the candle, we call it a lower wick or shadow. And the upper side, we call it the upper wick or shadow. So let us begin uh, on how this bullish uh, candle is formed. Now, if we look at the price in the market, uh, there's always a time frame, there's always a session uh, to begin with and to end. And let's just say that the market opens at this area, then the candlestick starts to plot out the line, a horizontal line. This is where market opens. And then when the price starts to make a, a low, all right, when the price goes down, and uh, it's no longer interested to make lower price now, and it starts to uh, U-turn. And uh, this is the way we call a low. And it's, when it starts to U-turn, then the price starts to move up. All right. And then it extends the candle body. So as it moves up, it leaves the shadow behind or a week behind here because price it signifies that price did not stay long over here and uh, whereas price moves up and uh, also at this point of time uh, there's no more interest in going up and seems like price is going uh, it's uh, anticipating to go down and this is where we call the high so as price goes down and the uh, mark uh, and the timing session is almost at the end and let's say the market closes right here and a new candle body is uh, the complete candle body is formed and closed so this is what we call a bullish candle the close is always higher than the open okay let's go to bearish candle all right for bearish candle let's say the open is a bit higher on this part okay market opens and then uh, price starts going up and as price starts going up uh, it forms a green body okay then uh, when it's no longer going up we call this a high that's the highest point of the price on this in this session and as price uh, moves down it forms a huge uh, red body in a bearish sentiment and let's say price is no longer interested to form even lower price and it stalls right here and uh, starts to move up we call that the low and if as price starts to move up it is it is almost at the end of the session so and here as the market's closed a complete candle body is formed or as this session is closed a complete candle body is formed because a candle can be like 15 minutes one hour four hours or daily candles or even weekly you can set different time frames uh, between the opening and the uh, closing sessions right so now just to conclude this is that the candle um, bearish candle body the open is always higher than the close so 
to uh, summarize all of uh, this in a simple uh, way that we will mark the, the body weeks as high, the lower week here, I've marked it as low. And then the only difference is that the close of the candle body both has different areas of closing price and even opening. All right. So I hope you have enjoyed this session. I keep it short and uh, well, any questions uh, you can post to me and uh, happy trading and investing. Hope it helps in your journey. Thank you.